Hello YouTube, so I'm making this video as a proof of concept based upon the video I previously made. I will explain how it exactly works in another video. For now you can read the source code yourself or the outro hotkey script. So let's go through a few versions of made. There's three versions laying in the GitHub repository. Version 1. This one is the simplest of them all. Basically what it does is that when you press the A key, it's gonna put the D key to be pressed up, which means it's on releasing the key, and the same the other way around. If you press A, then press D, it's gonna cancel the A key and press it. That's the simple design of the first one. But it does spam the key unnecessarily, or unspam, however you wanna look at it. It unpresses the key unnecessarily. Version two. This version is an upgrade where it checks if a key is pressed, and it's a variable to make sure that it's not pressing the key up unnecessarily too many times. Here I'm going to show the v3 version with a 10 millisecond debounce. Please increase this debounce millisecond delay as needed. This does not affect the press latency. Rather, when you go from one key to the other one, there will be a delay, so you don't unnecessarily spam up. This is not really an issue but I haven't tested it in games beside Ultra Kill and in Proteus on an ARM laptop. So please let me know how it goes. Here, I'm just showing a simple online keyboard testing website and just to show that it works. The NQ rollover feature here works great and I haven't really tested it much in games as mentioned. So again, let me know how it goes. I mean, it could be great. There could be issues without a hotkey as disclaimed in the GitHub. I'm not responsible if you get banned for using auto hotkey but this is just a proof of concept, so enjoy.